Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and this is Matt Mendenhall. He was an American bodybuilder, born in 1960, he stood 5 feet 11 inches tall. What a fantastic physique that he had. Wow. From head to toe, look at that upper body. Let's have a real good look at this upper body. Look at the arms, from the delts to those shoulders to those tremendously full biceps. This man had it all. And if you don't believe me, take a look at this shot here. Look at the legs. I mean, yes, the camera angle is creating a lot of size. Have a look at this one here. He, he takes me in mind of Tom Platts with those big legs. Wow. And talk about no weaknesses, have a look at the back development. Fantastic. This man virtually had no weaknesses. And food for thought. He was quite a looker, too. Look how handsome he was. But anyway, let's delve into this man's bodybuilding career, which began way back in 1978. He competed in minor shows up until 1981. Then in 1982, he hit the big time the NPC Nationals. He garnered a second-place finish, losing out to none other than Lee Haney. 1983, Matt would slip down to the fifth-place position at the NPC Nationals. I don't know what happened there. Bob Paris would capture the first-place finish. 1984, Matt would come roaring back, so to speak, he placed second at that year's NPC Nationals, losing out to none other than Mike Christian. Matt would capture a first-place finish at the USA Championships in 1985. Also in 85, he would play second to Barry DeMay at the World Games. This was followed up by a second-place finish in 1986 at that year's NPC Nationals, once again losing that NPC National title. Slipped through his fingers his entire career. 1987, Matt plummeted way down to the 11th place at that year's NPC Nationals. Phil Hill won that title, food for thought. 88 was not much better. He captured a 10th place finish at that year's Nationals. Matt Mendenhall would all but retire from the bodybuilding game, only to return one time in 1991. So, of course, you guessed it, the NPC Nationals. He actually placed fifth, and when you look at the lineup, it was a respectable placing. I mean, you had Kevin Lavroni winning that show. What a stud he was in 91. Flex Wheeler took second. Ronnie Coleman, look at him there. Look at that. And looky loose. You know who that guy is? You recognize him? That's Bob Ciccarello. You know, the announcer, the big cocky guy. Imagine how cocky, brash, and arrogant he was back then when he was a young man. Wow, boggles the mind. So, it is a shame, a darn shame, Matt Mendenhall never got to step on the Olympia stage to show the world what he had, and he did have premium genetics. After all, he was known as Mr. Genetics. He had a good balance of muscularity and aesthetics as well. Definitely had no weak points or weaknesses as a bodybuilder, and will more than likely go down in history as being known as the greatest bodybuilder never to have turned pro. He is Matt Mendenhall, a bodybuilding legend. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not already, please go ahead and tap that subscribe button. It helps me a great deal reach my goal of 1,000 and beyond subscribers. Have a great day.